Hey everybody, Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. I am back for part two of my Saturday morning walk on the beach in North Naples, Florida, Vanderbilt Beach, Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. The north of me here, just opening up. There were, oh, maybe four cars waiting at the front gate to get in this morning, pretty darn quiet. Got a little beach picnic set up here, even though it's morning time. This is my friend, Stephanie Funk, that does these beach picnics. Great little breakfast, lunch, dinner, seaside. What does she call it, seaside? What's the name of her business? I don't think that's Wagner's Pass Road, but Hey, Troy, what's the name of her business here? Seaside what? That's where the beach access is. <laughs> right there where that, where it's blocked off. That's the turnaround. Seaside Soiree. I think that's what it's called. Seaside Soiree. But that's a local band there. Rattlesnake Hammock Band. They're coming out for some photos. No, because I haven't been out there. I'm on the beach. You shouldn't be able to find That's a kind of a cool thing to celebrate a little anniversary or whatnot. Seaside Soiree. Stephanie was a good friend of my friend Angelo's, and she's also a volunteer out at Kauai Chobe Animal Preserve. So support her business, Seaside Soiree. Water's really starting to look good here. Calming down, it's just warm, just hot. That's all there is to it, hot, 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 hot. 90 degrees is that water temperature. Air temperature right now is about 80. Oh, three, four, feels like 95. High humidity, up in the low 90% with the humidity. Gonna be a warm one today. The heat advisory in effect. Not as bad as an excessive heat warning. My goodness. Still hot though. Maybe some rain later. We did see some thunderstorms offshore. They're still hanging out out there. But they're moving away from us, getting further away. Had some gorgeous colors, gorgeous colors in them earlier this morning. I was hoping my friend Stephanie came back over there. I wanted to talk with her for a minute. A nice part one here this morning my first walk up the beach pretty calm quiet not too busy here I don't think there's you're gonna run into any problems with parking over the next couple months here this is our really slow time August and September this is when you want to come out to the beach in the morning though get out here early get off the beach by noon before it gets really hot. Although this morning's forecast said maybe morning. Some clouds starting to roll in early afternoon here. That changes constantly, so who knows? And maybe a little rain. 
We need rain. We need rain, rain, rain. Have a good one. three dolphins up in Del Norwegans. They were way up ahead of me, but at least we know they're here now. They're making their way up towards Wiggins Pass. I might have saw them out in the, I saw something come out of the water way out in the Gulf this morning. I just saw like a shimmer. It didn't look like a dolphin though, but it could have been the dorsal fin just glistening, a wet dorsal fin. It more like a big fish jumping out of the water, but and it was way out. I just saw this flash. But it could have been them because they were heading up to the north coming from the south. I so would love to have a, an up-close encounter with some of our dolphins. Long overdue. Long overdue for one of those. Clouds are really starting to fall apart. Let's go back and check out the beginning of my first live feed this morning. Beautiful colors in them. The tide is slowly coming in here. A few hours away from high tide. Water doesn't look bad. We do have some seaweed. There's a little line of seaweed out here in the water. I don't know what kind of seaweed it is. I don't think it's red drift algae. I don't. It's not that sargasm weed. I don't know what it is. Nothing's gonna hurt you. Thank you for the stars. I do appreciate that. It's been a quiet star morning. Quiet morning, period. It's been quiet at the beach, been quiet on Facebook. Very quiet Saturday morning. A little snowy egret. 
passing by. Deciding which way to go. <laughs> hey, don't forget about those folks out in Hawaii. Keep them in your thoughts and prayers. The families that lost their homes, loved ones, possessions. Horrible, absolutely horrible. While we're sitting here enjoying these beautiful views, say a prayer for them. If anybody watching needs some prayers, please don't be shy. Post your prayer requests in the comments. We've got an awesome, awesome beach family here that looks out for each other. See how my day goes. Maybe I'll come out to the beach for sunset this evening. We've been having some absolutely incredible sunsets, incredible twilights. The afterglow, the whole entire sky has been just glowing. Oh, this is kind of cool. I didn't notice this when I was walking up here earlier. Look at that palm tree. Can you see that? There's a mermaid in the sand. A mermaid. A heart down here. A 
the palm tree. I'm guessing that's the sun. That's cool. That's pretty darn cool. You're gonna stumble across. I wish the sun was shining on it. Definitely feel it starting to warm up out here. Yeah, I wonder how busy it's going to be down there at the south end of Vandy. Beautiful, beautiful. Wish you were here with me. I wish you were here.
three little white ibis up ahead of me. Three, four, five. Where he is going? Stay out by the water. Six of them, actually. One off in the background there. Stay down by the water, you turkeys. Straggler behind him <laughs> going the wrong way. Hey, your buddies turned around. The white ibis. Pokey. There's Pokey. Pokey the white ibis. Soft, soft sand up here. I wonder what it's like up on top of the mountain here. Up on top of the new berm. A little harder up here. A little damp from the rain still. Still, that sand's not really bleaching out. Although it's wet, so it makes it a little darker on top of it. But you can see it's still darker than the existing sand down by the water. Sand gets hot. A mid afternoon, it's pretty darn hot. The other day they said it was like 120. It's a little warm on the Tootsies. away at the La Playa.
just behind me. All that beach we were just looking at. If you like Vanderbilt Beach, in my opinion, this is the best, best stretch of it right in here between those condos up there and where I'm at. Just down by all these houses. This is the very secluded part of Vanderbilt Beach because the access is very limited. You either walk here or you have somebody drop you off at one of the access, the beach access paths to come out here. What I suggest you do is you drop all your stuff off with your friends or family at the access. You go take your car and you either park in the parking garage at the south end of Vanderbilt down by the Ritz or the Bluebill Avenue, the Connor Park parking lot up on Bluebill Avenue by the bridge up by Del Norwegian's Park in that parking lot. And have my friend Christine or John from Naples Park Shuttle bring you back here and then set up a rendezvous for time for them to pick you up and bring you back. And you'll have a beautiful, big, wide stretch of beach to yourself. The only thing is you need to bring your own umbrella here. There's no umbrella rentals. Although, I believe if you call Cabana Dams, I believe they can arrange to get something set up for you if you make arrangements ahead of time. Set up an umbrella and some chairs here. So they don't have a golf cart. That's the best part of Vanderbilt Beach right there. Between the La Playa and those condos up to the north. You want to get a little further away from the La Playa so you don't hear the construction. Well, that's a good sound. The sound of progress. I'm always looking. I see these little clumps of seaweed in the water. I'm always checking them, making sure they're not little lost sea turtles. Oh man. It's only like 84, 85. My shirt's a little damp already. It's with the humidity. Florida in the summertime. So Thursday I took a walk down Gulf Shore Drive and started up at Bluebell at Bluebell Avenue and walked down to the south if you want to see what that looks like. Definitely making progress. A lot more work to be done though. the La Playa here. Actually, in back of the La Playa. Technically, it's the back of the La Playa. They're just getting their chairs and umbrellas set up here. So it's going to be an umbrella morning once that sun gets up over the buildings.
It is going to be hot. saw what I thought were the remnants of a recent sea turtle crawl on the beach here coming up here but I don't see any new nests. I was like ooh did we have a late crawler? There's the La Playa. Nice, beautiful green grass there now. Looking good. Looking good. All our umbrellas lined up. There is quite a difference in elevation where I'm at here. From where I'm standing to the edge of the water, I should at least get three feet, if not more, in height.
hey, thanks for being a friend. Thanks for hanging out with me this morning. Again, thank you for all the awesome, wonderful birthday wishes the other day. That was a really good feeling, you know, when I got so many awesome friends. Good morning. It's gorgeous out there. That sky is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. That blue sky. Sweet. Another few minutes for the live feed. Then we'll be calling it a morning. Thinking about sending a few stars, and that would be an awesome time. But remember, I don't have to be live. You can send stars to any video that I post on Facebook. Not share, it's got to be posted. Back later today for my beach report and my first look video. Beautiful colors in the first look video this morning. Maybe I'll see you this evening. No guarantees. However, I do want to get some pictures of John and Christine and their two golf carts with, from Naples Park Shuttle there. They're green machines. I do want to get them over to the beach for some photos. We'll see what happens. It was drizzling last night, but it did light up by sunset. And then, like I said earlier, man, the sky exploded. It's beautiful from the house. You can only imagine what it looked like at the beach. Also, don't forget, please, again, keep the people of Hawaii in your prayers. Terrible, terrible, terrible what happened there. Still many, many folks unaccounted for. Pray for the best. Pray for the best. Friend Alberto. He does a lot of walking in the morning. 
like Roy. Another peek at that water. That water is gorgeous. Still not like crystal clear. Could get clearer. Needs to calm down a little bit more. Get a little calmer. It's too warm. <laughs> it's so hot. Down by the Vanderbilt Beach and Harbor Club now. You, our friends that stay there, if you check out my video from Thursday, my walk down Gulf Shore, I walked around the back of this. You can see the front and back of the building, how it looks, what they're up to. Vanderbilt Beach and Harbor Club. Got a lot of friends that stay there throughout the year. We'll come up to the Vanderbilt Beach Resort and Turtle Club and give you a peek at that place and then follow the morning. One last look up the beach from in the water. One last peek at that water. It's just so warm. Ugh. Still all right. It's better than freezing cold. I'd rather be warm, I guess, than freezing cold. But I like the water temperature right about between oh about 78 is my favorite temperature of that water. Nice and refreshing at that temperature. Our sea turtle nests are definitely diminishing. They're getting fewer and fewer now as they hatch. No new ones. Pretty sure that's all over with. Gonna need those umbrellas there in another hour or so for sure. Vanderbilt Beach Resort. Open, open, open. They got a room for you if you want to come down for a little quick getaway. Unfortunately, the Turtle Club is not open, but the resort is open. The swimming pool is open. And this is where Someday we'll be seeing all the tables and chairs back out here on the sandy deck. So you can get your toes in the sand while you eat. Have a beachside meal, beachside brunch, beachside dinner, the Turtle Club. And it's coconut palms.
Got a lot of chairs out this morning. Boy, is it warm. Wow. Is it warm. All right, my friends, thanks for hanging out with me. If you sent some stars, thank you. I do appreciate that. If you sent some tips, I do appreciate that. You can find a link to my PayPal account. If you enjoy my efforts, appreciate my efforts. A little token of appreciation is always nice. Look for that PayPal link in the description of this post. Hey, until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong. Hit that share button. Tally ho, my friends, tally ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.